many time i have seen that we are not able to use some crucial feature of erp just because our data is incomplete or maybe not updated like i have seen few people prepare gstr1 in excel or some external software and not the tally just because uh, let's say gst number of datas is not updated so anyway your b2b would not be properly populated so in this video i am going to demonstrate how you can update gst numbers of hundreds of party in bulk using excel so i would not be using any external software or macro enabled templates i would be purely using excel functionality over to my screen okay so i have a company and let me show its charts of account okay and ledgers okay so i i have hundreds of data if you notice and the big issue is that if i open any data okay let's see this one. gstn number is not updated okay if i go next open next data like page down okay you can notice gst number is not mentioned now due to this my gstr1 b2b would not be populated properly because it requires gst number of the party okay and i am maintaining it in some excel file okay now let's see how we can update all this in bulk okay so let me uh, show you an excel template okay first let me show you the uh, master data okay now i have made a exercise so i exported all the sunday data list you can uh, export it uh, using uh, excel to tally odbc okay you can filter and select this and then i have collected gst number of all the party okay now issue is, is that you can update it from tally okay but process is very long let me show you so if i go to a report called gst so there is a report in tally called update party gstn okay so here i will say sundry data and all items so you can see these are the parties pending details where gstn or any other detail is missing so you can see 47 plus 1449 so there are many parties to update so it would be very difficult to update it manually by entering here so let's see how we can do it using x so my master list is ready where i have party names and gstn ready with me okay now i would be using an excel template so uh, you will find this template download link in description of the video so you can use from there and just download it and one more note okay i will go to that template you would be requiring office 365 version of excel okay to use because it uses one uh, new functionality called lambda functions which can create custom functions in excel without using macros okay so i have created one custom function called escape xcm okay now uh, again this has header data section and footer header and footer we have to copy paste as it, as it is and in the data section we need to mention name of the party and its gst number and if you see so i will zoom it a bit so basically i am sending an alter command to tally using xml wherein i would be specifying party name and what should be its gst number so let me copy paste all the party name and gst name it so i'll select all these parties copy and paste party and gst here okay so you can see this formula in actions so i am altering a ledger in called kb traders okay and it's part and i'm specifying this as a gst and remaining details master details would be unaltered so tally would not touch them it would simply update this detail and even if it finds this gst number it would update it with that so if you already uh, updated it no worries you can again overwrite it okay. so i will extend this formula till end so you can go here and double click and copy paste this formula till last okay now in the next step we need to create a notepad file and paste all this xml here and then import it into tally so i will open notepad 
notepad okay. first i will paste header copy and paste it okay then data xml of the portion of the data so i will select excluding this first row i will select all this data portion of xml okay paste it here and next footer again i will copy this and paste it we can remove extra line okay now we need to save this xml file so i will be using save as so then i can change extension okay so i will go to you can place it anywhere i generally place it in tallies folder itself okay so in uh, double quote we have to write so that it would ignore extension txt and write xml as extension okay so let's say master dot xml okay master dot xml let me save this and i enclose it in double quotes please remember okay and let me close this and now we'll go to tally and import all this data okay so just notice before this we had before importing we had no gst number written here okay all this is blank okay and even we had big list of this gst update now after this exercise this list should get cleared okay this complete list should get cleared because we have okay so let me import it so i'll go to import okay master and you need to specify file path select from drive okay you can select it d drive like tally and master.xml okay and next we will use modify with new data that means overwrite the gst number so i'll click enter and let's wait for it to update so all, i am all, updating almost 1400 ledgers okay done let's check whether all ledgers were uh, updated successfully or not so again you will have to go to tally primes folder okay and just locate a file called tally.imp and you would need to open this file from notepad so i have software called notepad++ which is free you can very easily right click and open from here okay altered 1616 no errors that means all the ledgers were altered successfully okay let's check through tally okay again i will go to tally chart of account ledger and let's go one by one okay can you notice this gst number updated for literally all the parties and let's verify okay i will again go to gst in update update party gst in report send the daters okay this list is cleared that means we have gst number in all the send daters okay now friends wouldn't it would be great if we could update even state name using this because we have gst number so left two digits of gst number is state code so i have a list of state code and state names in front of that okay so let's see how we can modify this excel template a bit and now instead of updating gst number let's update state name okay go to my screen okay now objective would be so we would be updating state here okay so because manually it would take lot time so we'll just pick left two digits these digits and, and derive state and update it okay so let me show you one templates okay so i have one more excel file okay uh, wherein i have state codes okay so state names and state code so let me copy paste this okay so i will i can directly copy paste like this also so i will uh, insert one more sheet here and paste it okay okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to extract left two digits and derive state name from it okay so let's say let's start uh, inserting columns here okay 1 2 okay 
state code so it is left left two digits is our state code okay and let me extend this formula to last and state name okay so i can apply x lookup so i can look up this state code here okay in this sheet so i can look up state code here comma and fetch state name from here okay so i also have now state names okay now let us do this for only few selective states not all states so that we don't have any confusion okay, so let's select two to three state like i would uh, select let's say i will delete remaining rows okay so i will retain maharashtra then i would keep gujarat delhi and rajasthan okay and remaining i will simply delete okay, remaining which are selected i will simply delete it okay so all semicolon control minus so that all this selected rows are gone okay let me clear the filter okay so i am left with delhi gujarat maharashtra and rajasthan okay so i would, I would be updating state for these parties okay uh, now let me modify this template a bit okay. now if you carefully notice currently i was updating party gst number now you would ask that why you i am writing party gst only okay let me guide you that why i am uh, written this xml tag okay now if you have tally developer okay you would find schema or database table structure of tally okay let me get you through this okay so i have ledger table of tally okay here there is a field called party gstn wherein tally stores a gst number of that data or created okay party and so therefore we use this xml tag to update so that it uh, tally could alter this ledger and just modify party gstn number okay now we have to modify state name okay so let me go to here i will try to find field by name state name okay state oh it is there state name okay let us modify this okay so i will modify this formula a bit now instead of party gstn i would say state name no spaces okay you have to ignore spaces state name just because tally is using this state name field okay i'm writing state name okay and here now instead of this i would shift this cell to here okay now i'm telling tally to update state name as maharashtra all this and then let me extend this formula okay okay let us first before i update it uh, let us go to tally and check that if we have already state written here or not okay like skyline enterprises let's go to tally filter ledger skyline enterprises okay skyline enterprises currently state is not specified okay now we are going to uh, update state information in bulk okay let me exit this menu Okay, now what I'm going to do, so I'm going to again reuse the same XML file which I stored here, okay, tally.master.xml and I will edit it using Notepad++. I would prefer to use this software because it is very handy. Okay. And this is a header portion of our uh, Excel file template, okay, and this was a footer and this one is a data portion so what i am going to do all the tally messages tags okay shift down and till last i am going to delete this okay and here paste the new xml okay. copy and let's paste it here okay. 
I will save it, control S. Okay. And now again, let us feed this to tally. Okay. Import master. Okay, same master XML is and modify with new data. Let's do this. Let's wait. Okay, done. Let's check import log before we verify it in tally. Okay, so I will go to tally.inp and edit it with Notepad++. Okay. okay, altered 1456 ledgers. 1456. Let me check how many rows were there. Yes, 1456 minus one header. 1456. And let us check. So Skyline Enterprises now should have Maharashtra instead. Let me alter this ledger and check. Okay, you can see state name Maharashtra here. So in this fashion, you can reuse this template and keep on updating any information you want. Like maybe if you want to update pin code, you can just go to Tally Developer let's check what is field for pin code pin code okay and it is simple just go to this excel template instead of state name or gst name just simply substitute pin code and update it instead of state name you now you can write pin code so start tag at end tag and properly point that cell to the pin code uh, cell reference okay and you can in this way update anything literally anything lastly if you like this technique please don't hesitate to press like button of the video and subscribe to the youtube channel